everyone, it's Clark of Salford here, and welcome to Obscure Film Club, a new series dedicated to exploring the world of unknown, under the radar films that deserve way more attention. For the first episode of our series we'll be talking about Consuming Spirits, a weird lesser known animated feature film released in 2013 and directed by animator Chris Sullivan. So this is probably taking the cake of being the most bizarre and difficult for me to untangle and appreciate properly yet. However, what intrigued me was the director's and animator's 15 year labour of love with this project and this passion is so clearly reflected in the final film. Now, don't let its title confuse you, this isn't a film about gluttonous ghosts. No, in fact it's a suspenseful gothic tale that tracks the intertwined lives of three kindred spirits working at a local newspaper in a midwestern Rust Belt town. It's a story that lures you in with its hypnotic misery and a lore most similar I'd say to the works of Bellatar. The animation is engrossing from the start, with a seamless shift in style that maintains a collective aesthetic that oozes with macabre and American gothic imagery. Even if the film's intertwining stories of small town desperation can seem to become tedious, its visual execution is difficult to dislike. On that point, I think for the first 30 minutes this becomes a demanding watch with a disjointed web of realistic characters that can be easily lost by a viewer not giving this a chance. However, if you believe in Chris Sullivan's direction and the journey he wants to take you on, you'll be rewarded as the web of secrets and confusion surrounding these three characters unravels during Earl Grey's confession, which left me locked and completely unmoved in my seat as it was one of the most beautifully animated sequences I've ever seen. Sullivan has created a rich and layered world in consuming spirits that won't let you go easily, and it shouldn't. Sullivan embraces you with 15 years of passion, pain, and humanity. I can only say that this is a film that has to be seen to be believed, and if you get a chance to check it out and maybe some of Chris's other work, leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought. So, if you're looking for a new film to watch, or just want to learn something about cinema history, come join us for the next episode of Obscure Film Club.